All right, you guys, so I want to showcase the practice that I did today, and Henry is here, so Henry's one of my contract trainers, he's gonna help me out. He's just gonna get into a tight defense where he's gonna have his hands up, elbows in, and tuck his chin. So Henry, face me. So you see, so he's up, so you see, everything's pretty tight. He has, his chin is down and everything. So I'm gonna go through the whole sequence that I practice on the double wind bag. So first is the ching choy. I split right down the middle. Next is the quad choy, so I go right here on that side. Then I go into the now choy where I come behind his arm, attack here. So once I finish that, I might go into Lao Sing Choi. I might go for the temple or the bridge of his nose, depending if his head is up or down. Then I follow up with a Jing Choi, again splitting, but going underneath, you see? And then as I come back up, I might go with a Sun Q, again crashing into the back of his head, his skull, his chin, or his ears. Then I might come over here and go with a Kap Choi, again going for a temple or nose or the side of his face, depending if it's up or down. Then as I come back, I go with the set set, and my A might be his chin or his neck, and then the last one I'll come back and I might go with a wander and just blast his eardrum and really hit him in the jaw or the uh, ear area, you see? So again, Henry was in a tight defense, and in order for someone to block all that, they cannot keep their hands in just one position. They must maneuver their hands, maneuver their head to engage that, and it's just to showcase the Jean Fang Gung Fu Jiu Kune Do system in the sense that the lead hand it's quite powerful, has a lot of variations of attack, and we're attacking again the center, the left, the right, from above, from below. So you have one, two, three, four, five lines of attack, and then you can even angulate some of them. Okay, you guys, well, take care. Hope you enjoyed that.